right, Lua, give us your impressions of how training camp has gone so far and, you know, the, the intensity level that's been happening in this gym. Uh, training camp's went well. Uh, guys are coming to camp in shape, focused, um, preparing for the season, ready to get it going. So um, it's been a positive experience so far, so we're ready to start getting some preseason games going um, and, and just building that mold out to be a winning team. Lou, give me a comparison. You've been through a lot of training camps. What would you say about this camp? You said very positive, but um, for a team that had a lot of success last year and has been together, give me a rating or a, an evaluation of this camp. I would just say it was, it's just been a very focused camp. Um, hadn't been a lot of horse playing and guys playing around. I think everybody has taken the opportunity to build very seriously here. Um, so, uh, again, I just think it's, it's been very focused and guys have came in locked in. Lou, how has your adjustment been? I mean, guys, you guys have been together for a while now, playing during September and into October. How, how has your adjustment? Has it been smooth as you expected it to be? It's been smooth. The guys have been welcoming. Uh, the coaching staff uh, understands the way that I'm, I'm able to impact the game. Uh, and, the, and my teammates, they understand as well. So they, these guys have been very open and welcoming and, and trying to help me learn offense as fast as I can. And at the same time, just building my confidence and, and letting them know that they believe in my shot making ability um, and just uh, allow me to be a part of the guys. Lou, how do you make sure that for you, when you go into a game situation, you know, tomorrow's a game, it's not, it's not practice, the situation's different. How do you make sure there's, there's no slippage and you're retaining all the stuff? Because there's a lot of stuff being thrown at you, I'm sure. How do you make sure you retain it to you so you can apply it in, in a game against somebody else and not your teammates? I just, like I said, I just think our mindset, guys are so focused right now. I don't think they know that we don't, we don't have the, we don't have the luxury of, of slipping. Right. You know, right. they won 48 games last year. They really enjoyed that success. They really enjoy how that felt, and they want to build on that. So we're going into these games taking them very seriously. And, and like I said, every every opportunity we come in the gym, our mindset is to get better and, and try to create. Lou, obviously you've played against a few of these guys throughout your career. Now being their teammates, what if guys like DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry showed you that has impressed you that you probably never knew playing against them? They just go hard. They just go hard every practice. Um, guys hadn't taken days off. Um, they hadn't taken advantage of being veteran guys and, and being leaders on this team. Um, you know, they've led by example. They've shown the young guys that it takes hard work to be successful in this league. I'm um, not just taking away from their leadership and how they approach every day. Lou, what have you learned about some of your new teammates when it comes to both offense and defense in terms of a comfort level? You know, X guy likes the ball here. X guy's going to do that. I mean, you're kind of a a new guy but at the same time a veteran on this team i think in whole i just learned that everybody trusts everybody um, everybody's confident in everybody else's ability um, we're very clear what every guy brings to the table at this point um, and that's going to be huge for us going down the stretch i think at certain points in the game we know when demar needs the ball we know when kyle needs to be more aggressive um, we know when the bench needs to step it up so it's that's been good for us early on to figure that out um, very early in camp